guys let us know. Was JH in the gray car to blame, or were Spence and I in the blue car to blame? Can we get the, you should break and let him down. That's rules of racing. That's just, I didn't make them, I just follow him. I have two cars that are welded together. One person is steering on top and the other one is doing gas and brakes on the bottom. We have seven sets of these and we're about to race them on a racetrack. They're trying to tip over. We wanted to avoid a rollover if possible. So in order to do this event, we had to pick our best partner we possibly could. And I have a friend of mine who y'all probably know, his name is Spicy Spence. Spicy Spence has never raced at the Freedom Factory, but he's been to every single event announcing. He's decided he wants to join in on the fun, so I called my boy up and he's doing it. But dude, you and I need to decide who's gonna be on top and who's gonna be on bottom. What are you thinking, dude? What do you wanna do here? Um, First of all, we need to pick our car. Yeah. Cars up, with plural. Remind me which car is doing which function of the driving apparatus. Yeah, so on the bottom, we're doing gas and brakes. You can see the steering wheel is not in this car on the bottom, but it is up top. So the, the nice. driver is gonna be steering from the back seat of the top car, and then the gas and brakes are gonna be from the front seat of the bottom car. Normally, I would say put the taller person up top, taller because you have top. good view, but we're the same height. We so. are the same height. And are we the same weight? Uh, probably, I'm like 190 right now. Woo! What are you? I think I'm like 195 to hundo. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you can have it, that's fine. Yeah. You're gonna lose either way. <laughs> Spence, I really like this one down here because it's two door and it's probably wider than the other ones. Yeah. And that's cool. this unit right here. Uh, what is it? Is it a neon? Oh, that's crusty. Now, I did get word that the top car is quite tight in this one, so we're gonna jump in the cars, get our lap belts put on so that everything's nice and tight before we actually pick this number 88 unit here. You getting in that rig? Or who's up top? I don't know. I think we should both sit in it and see how we feel because if one of us is like, no, but yeah, yeah. just come hop up here, I'll film. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna jump up right here. You get in that rig and you let me know how it feels. No, you're supposed to sit on the post. <laughs> you steer with your butt. I don't think I would have enough grip. What about your helmet head space? Think your helmet would be hitting? Oh yeah, either yeah. of us will be. All right, well let's go pick another unit then. No bueno? I mean, I don't know where we're gonna get more headroom. Let's go look. All right. What do you think of the new two-stroke unit? Dude, I love it, dude. It's like being six years old all over again. Literally, from the 90s. Dude, it's sick. Grew up she's, on these. She's, oh, she's juicy, really. Before we get started on the stacker cars, they're doing spectator drags. If you don't know what spectator drags are, people bring out their personal daily drivers in one lap race around the track. So I'm going to show you what that entails. Final race for spectator drags. We have Cleet in his Porsche Turbo S against Kyle Wade in his Honda slash Tesla Plaid. All right, so who's who's uh, steering in Brother, here? I'm a little worried about it. I know I was hyping my boy up earlier, but Spence, I know you're watching this video right now. You got a lot to prove, all right? <laughs> All you gotta worry about is the gas and the brakes. I'll handle the steering, all right? We're not we're not competing for anything major. We're gonna go have some fun with all of our boys. We got Cleeton James teamed up, uh, the Walker boys. We got Dave Walker, Zach Walker. We got Brent from PFI. We got JH and Eason. 
What else we got? We got we got a bunch and of great drivers. It's, it's gonna be a show, man. These cars are crazy. Like, who would have ever thought you get twelve two cars together? Insane, dude. Insane. These things are insane. They're, they're all lined up right here, ready to go. Ready to rip, dude. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sackers or fourteen cars. Insane, dude. Crazy. I can't wait to watch this. I know, right? It's gonna be a show. Spence, are you ready for this or what? Yeah, dude. I'm ready. <laughs> Nothing special to say. Nothing special. I'm ready. But you're doing the gas and brake, right? Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Looks like we are car number nine six or what do we got up top, Spence? I don't know. A Toyota. We got a Toyota a Camry. Camry. Not the lightest car in the fleet. It's gonna be a little top heavy, a little tipsy top. So you got the dude has nothing to hold on to down here. You ready? Well, hold Spence? on to my nuts. <laughs> Dude, are you sure you're gonna be able to reach the steering wheel right there? I'm like bottom of the steering wheel. All right, here we go. We've got Spencer on the bottom and Parker on top. Here we go. Dude, that was Insane. so fun. I was yeah. dying. 
Dude, you wrecked somebody hard, bro. <laughs> like, I was like, what do you do? What do you mean? You were the one that wrecked him. Bro, you steered <laughs> into him, bro. <laughs> dude, y'all would be on the bank three-wheeling it around. I was crying. Dude, I, I was us. laughing the entire dude. time. Dude, it's a feeling when your ankles are at the same height as your ass cheeks. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can feel it like, hurt, hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. I could hilarious. not stop laughing that entire race. That was so much fun. Holy crap, man. They're talking about everybody. when they say he hits everybody, dude. He literally wrecks some guy. I'm like, on the back. Who tried Archer? Dude. You're the one that hit us? Yeah, yeah you guys. Yeah. Uh, you tried to kill us? I'm, I'm looking Our at car was in, and he goes, Archer tries to kill somebody. Our car race. wasn't even blue. Oh. Brother, <laughs> you were right there. <laughs> I don't know, James was just I not lifting. Not and I'm just soaring towards the wall. And then he <laughs> brake checked it right before the wall. My mirror rubbed the catch fence. Dude, oh I'm like, bro, can you yes. just lift a little <laughs> bit? Dude, you got to hit the line. It was terrible. Oh, man. Man. Gray car or blue car to blame? Blue drove into him. Blue drove into me. And yeah. Blue was your, supposed to break? Yeah. Blue was supposed to break. What was your opinion? Gray was too high into the wall. You guys let us know. Was JH in the gray car to blame, or were Spence and I in the blue car to blame? Can we get the rules? So rules in racing, if you guy comes down on you and you're at behind his his door, you should break and let him down. That's rules of racing. That's just, I didn't make them, I just follow them. You need them out new. <laughs> Hey, at least you won the Ranger race tonight. Yeah. Hey, I beat you guys in the other race, so it's just a win-win for me. <laughs> hey, we were behind them for a while, though. I hope I could maybe get footage of it. Oh, Dude, my God. His left I front heard. tire was this much of a gap. Between I them. heard our left front tire is, like, off the ground off for the majority ground. of the Six race. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I never laughed so hard in my life. That was so much fun. <laughs> Well, Spence, I think yeah. that's a solid first race in the Freedom Factory Dude, for you, man. Wildest race to do. How, how did it feel to not announce and actually participate tonight? It was a blast getting out there. It was so much fun, dude. We gotta like, have you hang with the boys. So you need a burnout car. Like, yeah. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you later. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.